of the Executive Director for Corporate Giving at Consumers Energy, Carolyn Bloodworth. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Bart. It's great to be back. Yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, I see you more often just because you're a very prolific uh, social media <laughs> poster. <laughs> well, when I have fun things to share, I like yeah. to share them. Yeah, so uh, now we're on holidays and uh, the winter season so far with your family. Well, holidays were rather quiet thanks mm -hmm. to Mother Nature. She kept my children at their homes in uh -huh. Grand Rapids and Chicago when it was a little dangerous to come home, and mm -hmm. which made sense. Yeah. Um, so we celebrated Christmas a little late and we'll be able to see it. We saw Lori and her husband a little late and we'll mm -hmm. see our son later this month. Nice. I think that happened to a lot of families and yeah, better safe with the travel, just uh, delay Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And people are still celebrating Christmas. Is your tree still up? No. I actually, I never put one up this year. Oh. We did a remodel of our kitchen. Mm. And so I had three appliances in my living room for the better part of December. <laughs> so I'm not, I was not going to add a Christmas tree to that. But um, it was worth it. It mm. actually all worked out in the end. The kitchen shop was terrific. Um, and Anna at the kitchen shop. Uh, they were terrific, and I'm really happy with the kitchen. So. Were you making coffee in the bathroom? Um, we did a few dishes in the bathroom, <laughs> yes. But it also helps that Kurt is very handy, so we were able to hook some things up while things were under construction. Yes, he is, he is very handy. Yes. Well, the uh, company just last week announced mm -hmm. that, uh, with permission from the uh, MPSC, the company is able to give some uh, help to yes. businesses and uh, residential customers with their uh, home uh, heating and uh, utility uh, yes. bills this winter. Yes, $25 million. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to, we know that our customers are struggling. I mean, everybody's dealing with high prices for absolutely everything. And so anyone who receives their electricity from mm -hmm. Consumers Energy should see a discount on their bills beginning probably February, depending on their billing cycle, February, early March, and for the rest of the year. So that will be really good news. But even more important, $10 million of that will go to help those people who are really struggling to make ends meet. And we're really help, hoping to help them. So if anyone's struggling to, to pay their utility bill and needs some help, we advise they call 211. Mm -hmm. Free phone call, great help or call us and we'll, we'll try to help them out as best we can. Yeah, and I think Jackson has a special uh, benefit being Consumers Energy's hometown because all of the uh, assistance mm -hmm. is uh, managed right here in Jackson at 211 at United Way. Plus, the company has made donations to Jackson organizations like the Salvation Army, mm -hmm. Community Action Agency, and others that are already in business to help people. Right, and, it, and you know, we, were, we, were, we started here. We've been in business mm -hmm. for 136 years now. We can't even say 135 anymore. <laughs> it's been 136. But we want Michigan to be strong, and in order for Michigan to be strong, all of us Michiganders need to, need to be successful. And so this, we feel this is our way to do that. Yeah, and people are, I know they're wondering, well, how much is this gonna mean to me? What's gonna be my reduction? Right. Well, it's just going to be a surprise, right? <laughs> yeah, it will. I think a lot of it depends on their energy uses, but everyone will get a little something. But we're really focused on those people, what we call our most vulnerable. If people are struggling, if they're, they're struggling to pay for utilities, they're probably struggling also to pay for their food. They might have trouble with rent or transportation. Um, those are the folks we really encourage to call 211. The operators are there to serve them. And people probably uh, got their bill, their big bill, with the, as cold as it was over Christmas. Uh, they're just showing up this past week, so it might be a surprise. And you, really, you, you never know what it's going to be. It's You're, all weather dependent. It, it, largely weather dependent, and also usage. You know, make sure you turn off the appliances you're not using. Make sure that you're being um, thoughtful about your energy yeah. usage as well. Close the doors. Don't leave them open in the winter months. You know, and another tip that you provided was uh, run a s the ceiling fan mm -hmm. at low speed mm -hmm. during the winter. Yes. I never thought to do that. There are all kinds of tips that can be found on the Consumers Energy website. All right. So you brought some photos. I, I mentioned believe the, so. the social media posting. 
uh, both personal and professional, but right. I think today we have some uh, where you've been, you've been around, you've been out and about. Well, and, Jack, and Jackson is known for some great events. In yeah. January, I think, it, I would bet you agree with me, some of our best events are in January. Yeah. Um, so I think you see a picture here of several Consumers Energy co-workers. We are there with Anthony Parker, who was honored with the Martin Luther King Distinguished Service Award from Jackson College. I believe you were at that event as I well. Mm -hmm. So, but Anthony's a retiree of Consumers Energy. He's decided he didn't want to be retired. He started his own business, but Anthony is so deeply embedded in this community and he's done so much for this community for so many years. And he's a friend. So we just appreciate him and are honored to be able to be there to celebrate with him. Yeah, I learned so much. I've known Anthony for a long time, but I had no idea about everything that he's uh, been a part of. Yeah. So this is a special. This was from the day before, the breakfast before. You were also at this event. This was the Chamber's MLK breakfast. You see here Ken Tolls, that responsible for taking the selfie. So the outgoing CEO, well, he was the CEO of the United Way of Jackson. Um, he's... Um, Moving on to some more exciting opportunities. I'm kind of anxious to see where, where he yeah. will land and what he'll do. But also here with us, you recognize Pastor Hines, one of our local Jackson favorites. And the other gentleman here is Chris Sargent, who is the CEO of the United Way of South Central Michigan. Mm. So that's the combined United Ways of Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, Jackson, Lansing areas. And Chris is a terrific guy. I've worked with him for years. And he wants to get um, to Jackson more often, and we'd love to introduce him to more people. Well, he's going to have to come to Jackson more often with Ken Toll retiring. Yes, so. absolutely. But that's, that was a fun picture to be able to take that with mm -hmm. those guys. So you talk about being back in the office. We're back in the office. This is just one of, as you know, we like to take group pictures when we're all back in the office. You actually have a selfie stick, which of I think you're I using do. with this of picture. Of course I, I always yeah. have my selfie stick out. Um, this is actually, I think this is an older picture. This might have been in the summer, which was great fun. You see the infamous Brian Wheeler in the back. Um, but this is our group um, having some fun, enjoying ourselves. Right behind me is a newest, probably I think one of our newest co-workers, her name is Tracy Wimmer, works for Media Relations, and she is working with me and my team on our All Things Foundation related. Right behind her is Dan Gretzner. I think one of his daughters are going to visit you, or mm -hmm. one of his daughters is going to visit you. Hannah's going to come see you. She's in the Napoleon play. Dan's actually going to show up in several more photos for some reason. He's in a lot of your selfies <laughs> he's, today. He's, yeah, well, Dan's yeah. in the office with me every single day. Oh, that's and true. he also supports a lot of the fun events that we mm -hmm. do at the company. But we just love to get together, and we always make sure we take a picture. Great group of people. Great group. Um, yes, this is a wild picture. Uh, we, this is something... A lot of people in Jackson love to go to Binder Park Zoo, take their children, take your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. They opened um, this late this fall. Um, you'll see the Consumers Energy Foundation is sponsoring the Little Larks portion. They have a zip line, huh. high ropes area. Did you go down on the first run? I did not. I could have, <laughs> but I actually had to sneak out of here and get to Grand Rapids to go to a concert oh. that same night. So I did not. But there is a specific section just for the little tykes, as you can see, the little larks. Mm -hmm. But they harness them up and they have um, a little ropes and zip line for the little ones. But there is a larger version for the adults that is pretty spectacular. And I highly recommend anyone who wants to enjoy something that to head over to Battle Creek to Pioneer Park Zoo. I'll check it out. And I remember, I can't remember who, who it was you saw, but the, you posted a lot of pictures of the concert in Grand Rapids. <laughs> And it was somebody who was like Harry Styles or something. Keith Urban. Yeah, okay. I'd, Harry, I couldn't even get to Harry Styles level. No, but it was Keith Urban. Yes. So this uh, picture. Up north. Um, actually, Kalamazoo. Macomb? Ashtimo Township. Oh, Kalamazoo. This one's Ashtimo Township. So we were presenting a grant to Ashtimo Township, the Fruit Belt Rail Corridor. Of course, it's an abandoned railway mm -hmm. that they are now turning into a wonderful trail and making connectivity to a lot of the trails in the Kalamazoo area. But what was really special about this was they also are partnering with the Kalamazoo Nature Center. And so they're gonna provide a lot of educational opportunities and make this far more than just a trail. Nice. Yeah, really, nice. really Dan great. Gretzner, there yeah. was a Dan. This is the Macomb. This is where we are with Macomb, two steps away from the river there. Um, last year, we uh, provided $250,000 for Planet Awards, and that last one for the Fruit Belt Rail Corridor, and this one here 
from Macomb County. These are our planet awards that we gave they have for projects that are doing something to enhance our planet, land, water, or air. Here in Macomb, they are planting trees. They are planting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of trees, which is really important for the environment. And so we were awarding the, um, the grant here, right along the river, across from the county offices. You'll see right in the middle, the infamous Mark Hackle, who is the county commissioner. He is, he is a, it, not county commissioner, county administrator. He's a um, pretty prolific icon in Southeast Michigan. Mm -hmm. And um, this, was been, this has been a really exciting time. And I'm sure that these pictures were given to you because right now we have a letter of intent out for our 2023 Planet mm -hmm. Award. So we're offering $500,000 once again to support grants that will enhance Michigan's land, water, and air. Nice. And the people that can apply for those, there's, it's pretty wide ranging, isn't it? It's, it is very yeah. wide ranging. Nonprofits all across the state, mm -hmm. cities, nonprofits, um, it's, it's all across the map. All right, and then uh, one more. It looks like a chili cook off or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, just this past weekend, we were presenting um, a People Award grant to Roscommon County United Way. They have a mobile soup kitchen. We were in the Tip Up Town USA parade on Saturday. So we got to participate in the parade and then go to Tip Up Town USA, their festival. And they had a family tent and we needed to take a family picture while we were there. So this is a picture of us. That's Dan and I with Rich Castle, our community affairs manager responsible for Roscommon County there. Was there ice on Houghton Lake? Um, very little ice, very, very little, which was really unfortunate. Yeah. Really, really unfortunate. It was cold. But yeah, very, very little ice. I was kind of disappointed not to be able to see what that is like when the, the lake is completely filled with shanties. I've seen it and it is unbelievable. Yeah. It's like Woodstock on mm -hmm. ice. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the festival was really neat. And I actually saw one of my friends from Jackson, Gabe Camp, he and his son were there. And he said they go to the festival every year. Mm -hmm. So it was great to see somebody from home. Cool. Well, it's, I know, um, a few more weeks of winter still to come. So if people have uh, concerns about paying uh, for the utilities, there is help. It's 211, that's yes. the first step. And then the uh, company uh, rebates, 25 million. Um, we'll see that starting in? Any time now. Oh, any time Any time now, now. probably okay. February, March. But uh, customers, electric customers, will see a discount on their bills beginning February, March through December. Great. Well, thanks for all the news and thanks to uh, everyone in Consumers for all the great things you guys are doing. Thank you. It's our pleasure. The uh, Director of, Executive Director for Corporate Giving at Consumers Energy, Carolyn Bloodworth. Uh, we've got